All right, welcome back everybody to more of the Elder Scrolls Online Sorcerer Edition. Uh, changed my outfit again because this one seems to fit mages just a little bit better than the uh, full body armor thing. And I guess we have to go ahead and return to the Mages Guild because of that quest we did last time, which I felt we accomplished pretty well. Now, I've got that sneaking suspicion that we're going to run into the frame rate issues again, uh, as we probably will. Because, I mean, let's be real here. That's always bound to happen. It's just going to be a thing from now and forever. But I think if we can just wait through it, that we won't have a problem. And I guess the Prophet's here. So let's talk to the Prophet because we can finally start doing actual quests. Or, like, well class quests. Quiet. Or class quests. Story there quests. You are, we must speak at once. Hello, Prophet. Listen well. I have located a safe harbor from which we might plan our course of action. You must meet me there. Where is this safe harbor? I awoke in a city of Bretons, its air heavy with the smells of baked bread, horses, and intrigue. Daggerfall. The harborage is in an abandoned cave outside the city. I'll find you there. I guess. We'll do that after we do, like, all the other side quests, because, I mean, we have main story quests and blah, 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 blah. Oh, wait. has been caught and the assassin has been dispatched by the champion of the king. Wait, there was a curfew? Whoa, I didn't realize there was a curfew. Well, then I was definitely breaking curfew. I've definitely been breaking curfew. Oh, well, I'm a mage. It doesn't really matter, right? Oh, is th oh yeah, this is the, 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 the staff of flaming ice. <laughs> Couldn't it just be dry ice? Like, the staff of dry ice. Like, that burns like no other. And it's pretty funny. Wait, why are you guys joining the mages guild? Or is it, you just doing it because it has quests? I think that's what they're doing. Were you successful? Do you have the tomes? Yes, I have them right here. And something strange happened. Well done. You're already proving your worth to the guild. Sorry, did you say strange? Yes. What happened? An old man in robes appeared to me. He said his name was Shalador? Shalador? Labyrinthian spot of the spell mirror's forger. Yeah, that Are guy. You speaking truly? And, uh... This book's pages are blank. Why is it glowing? Shalador appeared right after I picked up that book. He said fire would show you the words. The spell rites of the first era used a special ink that would remain invisible until immersed in arcane fire. Perhaps that's what he meant. We have a brazier nearby burning with such a fire. Let's see what the flames reveal. I'll give it a try. Cast the book into the arcane fire. Fear not. The pages will not burn. You know how bad that would suck if they actually did burn? Uh, can you tell me more of Shalador? Shalador was the most famous archmage of the first era. His dedication to spellcraft and his commitment to research were unmatched by any before or since. Most mages revere him, though he does have his critics. Why would he be criticized? Shalador felt that one should earn the right to be called mage. He created many trials to test the spellcasting metal of men in myrrh. His loudest detractors were those who failed those tests. Oh, okay. Goodbye. I'm gonna pretend that actually resonated with me. Oh, there's the arcane fire. Watch it, like, burn everything. Or not. Yep, that's, that's some, some good reading right there. It's great. That's great. Oh, that's the ritual, so I have to... Okay, so I was supposed to actually, like, do some sort of mumbo-jumbo. I'm gonna change my outfit again. <laughs> I've got so many of these, like, I just can't not do it. Mage's Guild leggings uniform? I like it. Yeah, let's just go with that. Like, I mean, we're Mage's Guild at this point. If I wear a stupid dress, she looks really weird. Like, I think I made her butt too big or something. Because I didn't really change... I didn't really change her body too much. I just focused on her face or something. So I guess her butt's too big or something. Let's we'll go with this. I don't know. It just she looks a little weird in those weird like robes. Is what I'm trying to say. What has the fire revealed? <laughs> that the book was just normal paper. Uh, Got to find a new one. I, I guess. No. Uh, I can't understand the words here. They must be very complex spells. Complex indeed. Much of this is beyond my understanding. But here, this one is an attunement spell. We can summon Archmage Shalador himself. We'll need some ritual orbs. What do these orbs do? They'll focus your magicka 
Attune your life energies and draw him to this place. That's specific. The ritual will apparently also link your mind with his. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know if I like this. It means that the Archmage will be able to guide you and speak to you whenever he chooses. Are you ready to begin? If he can't read my thoughts, then I'm good, so yeah, let's go. To the center. To the center. Here? First, we attune your spirit to shallow doors. Okay. Ready. Oh, there's the orb, okay. Set, Shall we? Use the orb. That's a cool effect. That's a cool effect, yo. That's a real cool effect. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Ritual orb attune! Whoa, there's more. Do it. I was right in choosing you. Were you? Hold on, before we talk, I'm gonna change again because this just looks stupid. Let's put this back on. Yeah, I like this better. I like it a lot better. What's up, Shadow Door, baby? I can sense. Yes. The aura around you glows with good fortune. You will be the one to help me complete my final task. Why me? What I hope to accomplish is difficult. Perhaps impossible. It will require great strength of spirit. I sense this strength in you. That is what drew us together in the ruins. What's this task? A storm rages towards us, Adept. War has come to Tamriel, and the mages of this great guild must have quarter. I intend to offer them a safe haven, mm -hmm. a sanctuary where they may study in peace. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How do we create the sanctuary? Tell me, O oh, Archmage Shalador! I created that sanctuary centuries ago. It was stolen from me by an agent of chaos. Great. And magically transported to the Shivering Isles. To recover the island, we must locate four hidden tomes. This is the task of which I speak. So, when you say we, you really just mean me. And maybe a companion, or if I had friends with me, them too. But mostly me, right? That's what you're really... Okay. They are being held in a place known as Cheesemonger's Hollow. <laughs> the realm of the mad god, Sheogora. <laughs> my side, and I will open a portal. Watch out for the cheese manga! Oh god, sorry. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> she Goreth is not to be taken lightly. Oh, I that name. the sanctuary because of his nimble tongue and mad stare. Yep, okay, peace out, dude. I've got a quest to do. Whoa! Is that my portal? That's my portal. Portal to cheese manga's. <laughs> god, dude. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, yep. Really going there, cheesemongers hollow. Oh, that amuses me so much. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Oh, this artwork's beautiful. It is. Watch him be like some serious, like, badass. Oh, how Crank has skill the cheesemonger. Cheeses of Tamriel. I gotta read this. By Master Chef Gilbord La Roche. If you are like me, the very word cheese stirs you. Maybe you recall meals shared with family and friends, favorite dishes in the cold of winter, or a simple snack in the shade of a tree while traveling. I'm here to tell you how much more there is to cheese than you ever realized. Join me on a journey across Tamriel and discover a breadth of culinary experience you've never imagined. Let's start simple. Idar cheese, popular in Skyrim, it's eaten by the Norse alongside hearty spit roasted meats. They do not share the refined reproach of cuisine that we Bretons take, but I have discovered that Eldar's, re Eldar's rich earthly flavor and creamy texture are quite conductive to sauces, dried with poultry d uh, dishes or paired with a young corn For a more exotic taste from Skyrim, you must seek out the cheese made of milk of mammoths. Only the true brave can obtain it from the giants who craft it. Yes, giants. Who did you think would milk a mammoth? But its, rep <laughs> but its rester of potential and robust flavor make it well worth a bit of risk. I've heard it called and acquired a taste, but you'll be amazed at how it completes a hearty stew. As a student of Breton culinary tradition, I cannot rightly count it among true cheeses, but Skotel Bear is mentioned for, the mentioned for the adventurous. The delicious treat is crafted from... Don't bark. The flesh of beetles native to Morrowind. Do not let its com uh, composition or greasy texture turn you away, for its peppery, complex richness is loved by the Dark Elves for good reason. 
For an, energi er, for an, en for an energizing snack, you must, uh, you must try Alizwea fondue. There are countless variants of this dish, but the basics are always the same. A good cheese, strong stock, and of course, moon sugar. Moon sugar! Keep your pot on a low flame and be careful not to overdo the ale. The best part is the ex is experimenting to find your favorite combination of ingredients, dipping, and dipping foods. My advice, try adding a different herb every time. <sighs> I, I can't believe I'm actually reading this. On the subject of melting, like at this point, I'm just like, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I need to read this. On the subject of melting, the Red Gods crafted cheese with an unusual quirk. They keep the secrets of its culinary pr uh, culturing process close to, to heart, but love to surprise foreign guests by serving it. It is known as shrieking cheese. When it is melted to a certain point, it actually get, lets loose a giant scream. In a common dish, small blocks of these cheese are added to s atop spicy meat as it cooks in an open pot. When it shrieks, it's ready. Another rare treat, should you ever be fortunate enough to find it, is the legendary aroma no, ah, aromatic Ol Olroy cheese. Okay, to give you just the slightest idea of how wonderful this cheese is, I do not exaggerate when I say scent of it alone was worth many false leads and months of trasping across southern Cyrodiil in search of it. Look at all these cheeses and wheels, wedges, and slices. So many! And it's only the beginning. There are even more cheeses out there just waiting for you. Even if you can't make long journeys in search of these delicious creations, I hope that reading about them encourages you to try as many cheeses as you can find. I was... At that point, I was dedicated. I mean... He's the cheesemonger. You, you you can't just not read about cheese. Let's be real here. Well, what is it? Here for some noble purpose, no doubt. No, I just wanted some of that really delicious sounding cheese, like all of it, really. <laughs> Spell books? How pedestrian. As it happens, I'm feeling particularly charitable at present. I'll allow you to enter after. I don't like where this is going. After what? After a test of your resolve, this isn't a lending library. If you want the spell books, you'll have to earn them. I'll have to find you some cheese, huh? A portal has been opened, just behind you. Close it, and I'll grant you passage. I'm ready. Close the portal if you can, though you may want to deal with those scamps first. Oh, 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 you dirty scamps! Feel my lightning prowess! I'm dead. There was no way I was going to be able to take care of them. Spawned me here in full health and grandeur. Close the portal, and that is our banjo. And hold on, we're, we're going framey. We're going framey. Okay, we're done going framey. We're good. Now, what are these abilities going to do? Yeah! Search the scamps. We'll take it all. Oh god, there's a seducer cutthroat! Lord help us all. No, seriously though. Lightning! And you're dead. Sweet. That was beautiful. Can I close it now? No. I can't. I can't. Oh, I know why, because I gotta close it. Duh, hello. Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your deadly smile. How do I close this thing? Oh, there's another one. Wait for it. Feel my fiery ice. Interesting. Well, I suppose. I mean, I only died once, so I mean, we're good. Mission accomplished, really. Was unexpectedly competent. You'd make an adequate house servant. I don't suppose you'd consider it. No, absolutely not. Fringe benefits are appalling. Pity. The tomes you seek are beyond the door at the top of the stair. Once you're outside, follow the path. Sweet. Just doing the master's will. I will open the door for you. Oh, and mind the scamps. The little imps adore fresh flesh. So right. Mm-hmm. I'm going. Oh, I, oh, you have to open the door. Okay. So now I gotta wait for you. <sighs> Patience is not my strong suit. All right. Try not to make a mess of things. All right. All right. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. We're doing good. I've read an entire book of an entire book of cheese. Happy I think we're, think we're good. Think we're good. Explore the hollow. Explore the hollow. 
Oh, hollow days. We're outside. Hooray. This looks cool. This looks real pretty. Someone's opened that chest. Okay. Oh, so much for pretty. Like, really disturbing is, I guess, the next thing. Oh, you little scamps. Wait for it. Heal it. That's right, you deserve that. You definitely deserve that. Wait for it. I'm running out of magic. Running out of magic power today. I'm gonna shoot you with my ice staff today. I said today twice, but whatever. There we go, let the health come back. Let the health regenerate. Let the health be everything you need to separate yourself from the dark will of everyone around you. I'm gonna stay hidden. I just don't wanna fight. I don't wanna fight right now. I, I don't need to fight these guys is really the problem here. Even though, boy oh boy, do I need to hit level eight. Cause th these guys are level eight, I think. I'm very in over my head here. Ah, oh, I thought I had it. Okay, we'll just jump over this. Climb up this like a normal, civilized person. Don't step in that, though. That could be dangerous. Stay nice and hidden. Nice and sneaky, look, sneaky. Someone to play with you. Oh, look, Pop! Someone to play! Gutstripper! Gutst Gutstripper? That is an interesting name. I will be the first person to tell you that. All right, gut stripper. Yeah, gut stripper. That a boy. He took it like a real man. Yeah, he did. <gasps> Ooh, I can take the tomes. Ooh. Take. I'm not about to read that. <laughs> Hello, Shagaroth. Puppy killer, come to steal me box. Where? Who? Where? What? When? Sometimes why? Really? <laughs> Speak up. Honesty is the best policy, as far as you know. <laughs> I'm here to recover four tomes for Shalidor. Shalidor? Oh, that pompous Nord and I go way back. I know what he wants. Indeed, I do. <laughs> His island. He wants to steal it back. <laughs> How I love a challenge! Right. I'll just take them with me then. Now, where's the sport in that? I tell you what. I'll give you one book <laughs> in exchange for Not gonna happen. Lungs. Your choice. No, wait. I have a better idea. Let's have a contest. Okay. A contest wrapped in a mystery with an enigma glaze. Oh, what fun we'll have! <sighs> a kind of contest. A few tasks, the odd death trap. Nothing so difficult as, say, reassembling the staff of chaos or rebuilding the new Midian. Mm -hmm. Take the first book, Puppy Killer, and I'll give you an additional book for each test you pass. Are you game? I suppose it's a deal. Excellent! Cheese and cabbage for everyone! Goddammit. But wait, we should inform Shadi Dar of it. Mm -hmm. With any luck, he'll die of embarrassment all over again. <laughs> I'm sure that's how, or I'm not sure how this works. Okay, whatever. I can't wait to see the look on his face. If it's precious enough, I might hang it on the wall. All right, you know, I'll just watch this conversation. At this point, I'm just, hello. What's the meaning of this? Shail Gorath, you remember. Ah, Shalador. You never write, you never visit. Just now I made a deal with your lackey here. How long have you wanted those books? <laughs> Your deals are hardly fair. What farce have you contrived this time? Think of it as an adventure. <laughs> and don't worry, I can surprise you too. I put a tiny curse on these books, just as you know. Long story short, Shal, you can never read these books. Curse you, mad god! Boring! Mm -hmm. 
imaginative shall? Like, curse you, mad god! May you become cheese eternally gnawed by skeevers! What? Unfortunately, I have no more time to construct this prediction. Oh, God. I have to deal with this idiot. Okay. <sighs> What's up, Shalador? Curse the mad god. Mm -hmm. I don't know what game he's playing with you, but I do know the stakes. At least we have one tome. That's true. Though without my help, it will take Velast considerably longer to translate it. I'd like you to return and let her know the bad news. All right, I'll go tell her. I'll send you back to Tamriel then. Are you ready? Why not? At this point, like, I... There's really nothing else I could do. <laughs> I mean, I could stay and go fight those other things. I guess. <sighs> Man, this is crazy. <laughs> this game, I don't know what it is, but sometimes... Just... Just sometimes, man. My energy gets way too drained. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. If you guys want to see more, please let me know down in the comment section below. Next time, we'll talk to Velaste at the Mage's Guild right there. Right there. And uh, we'll, we'll do it with style because, I mean, dang, girl, you look fine. No, I'm just kidding. You look good, though. She looks good. Anyways, guys, <laughs> that was weird. That was awkward. Uh, see you guys next time and leave you with an awkward silence. <laughs>